I was on my phone recently and I came across an ad for Eamon Gadget's course Digital Launchpad and the funnel behind the ad definitely caught my attention. So in this video, I'm going to show you how I recreate this funnel on high level. And even if you don't know who he is or what his course is about, I'm going to show you how you can build a beautiful funnel for your business on high level. I'm going to break down three different sections. And the first section that I wanted to break down is, of course, the hero right here. So this is his funnel and my recreation. His and mine. I am on high level right now and you see that the first thing that I have here at the top is a very simple nav bar with an image in the center. Then I have a two column row. We have the main headline right here, launch your high income career. So that's kind of like talking about the dream outcome and then explains a little bit about what digital launchpad is. A call to action that stands out is very clear. Then I added this right here for the actual stats, kind of like what he had here on his side as well. Now, if I scroll down, you see that we have this section with the moving words and and this text with some highlights. I'm gonna show you how to create both effects on this video, but for now, I'm gonna scroll to this section right here and show you how I built this section. So if I scroll down here, you see that this is a very simple section, but it's doing something very powerful, which is showing who is this for making it so that if one of these ideal target avatars are on his website, they're that much more compelled to keep reading or take the next step and buy his program. What this looks like on high level is first, we have a one column row with just one headline. And if you're wondering what font is this, which looks very cool, very clean, that is Oswald right here. And then for my actual paragraphs, I was using Poppins and that's the exact fonts that he was using on his funnel as well. Now on this section right here, you see that I have four columns columns just like this. And then on each column, I have an image, a sub headline and a description. This is his actual website. And I'm showing you this section right here. And this is my website. You see that it's very, very close. So even though this was built on high level, we're still able to build a beautiful funnel. The next section that I wanted to show you is this one right here. So this is my section and this is his section my section, his section. So very, very close. And now let me show you how I did this on high level. You see that I'm keeping it very simple. I'm not trying to be very fancy. What I am doing is being consistent with my colors, black, white, and then this orange makes it so that the branding is consistent, is minimalistic, and it just looks beautiful and clean overall. Anyways, you see that here we have a two column row. And in this case, I added my image. Here I added a headline, then the paragraph and then the button with the same style. So what I did is once I styled this button, just like you see right here, I quickly duplicated it just like this and then I dragged it and dropped it anywhere on my funnel. So for now, I'm going to delete this right here, but that's how I added it right here. You see how this button takes the entire width of this column. So what I did, click on the button, go to advanced and then for the width, I selected fill with just like you see right here. Now you may notice that there's some cool accents on his actual funnel, just like this. Like here you see that 30,000 people have joined this program. If you wanted to highlight specific things on your funnel, let's say I wanted to highlight the like-minded right here, I would select this just like this and then select my actual color, which in my case, it was this orange right here. And that's how I'm able to add some accents and it'll be the same thing right here. I'm going to go back because I don't want to do that right now. The last section that I wanted to show you how I built is this section right here. So Iman Gadget's call to action, my call to action, you see that they're very, very close and you can't even tell that this was built on high level. Now to show you what this looks like, we have a one column row that I made it so that it's of a width of 85. If I was to make it so that it's longer, it wouldn't have quite the same style. So to make it so that it would be exactly the same, I made it so that the width would be 85, just like you see right here. Going back to the top of this funnel, there's two things that I really liked and I wanted to recreate on high level as well. You see that there's this moving carousel right here and these accents on this paragraph right here. So let me show you live how I would do this on high level. First thing that I'm going to do is show you how to add those cool accents right here. So to do this, we need to add some custom code. Now, if you already have my notion doc, I'm going to go to tutorial 1.14 right here. But if you don't have my doc or you don't know what it is, this is the resource that I use every single day to build a better website for myself for my clients. Think of it like cheat codes for go high level websites. Anyways, I'm going to go to 1.14 right here, how to highlight a word or phrase on a text. So I'm going to click this right here. I'm going to make it so that I copy this code right here. I'm going to go back to high level, open the custom CSS window right here. And if you don't have any code, this will be blank. In my case, I'm going to open up some space for myself right here, paste the code just like this. And I'm going to make it so that I copy this word right here. And in my case, it's not an H1, it's going to be a paragraph. For now, what I'm going to do is hit save. 
and nothing is going to happen of course i need to click on my paragraph go to advanced and then here on the custom class paste that custom class hit enter and you'll see that now when i highlight over a specific word i'm able to add an accent of course this is not exactly the same we need to change the color and then make the edges very squared here you see that they're a little bit too round so depending on the type of feel that you would like for your product that's how you'd be able to do it but in my case what i did is get rid of the border radius get rid of the padding and then for my actual color right here i have this cool site coolers.co what i did is i think it was this one the color that he was using so i'm going to go ahead and copy this hex code go back to high level right here replace this just like this hit save and now you see how i'm able to add this exact effect that he had on his funnel on my high level website very easily now i'm going to show you how i created this moving text right here so this is my actual website and this is Eman gadget's actual website so you see that it's very very close i'm going to go back to high level and i'm going to start by adding a one column row here i'm going to add a paragraph just like you see right here for this paragraph i'm going to go ahead and add a custom class image logo one hit enter and then for the color i'm going to go back to general and make it so that it is white just like you see right here i'm going to go back to his funnel and copy the first element right here so progress every week and then paste it here i want to make it so that when i click this section i toggle this just like you see right here and now the row takes the entire width of this section what i'm going to do now is duplicate this element and now you see that it added it underneath i don't want that so what i'm going to do is click on the first column go here to where it says content alignment select horizontal and now i'm able to place these elements on a horizontal manner instead of vertical of course i would just change the copy and add a third element so let me just do that very quickly and show you what that looks like in order for this to work we need to duplicate each of the elements again in the right order so it'll be like one two three and then one two three again so that's what i'm going to do right now duplicate this and then move it all the way to the end just like this duplicate this guy right here and then move it all the way to the end and then do the same for this one right here now to animate this and give it the right style i'm going to go back to my notion doc right here and in this case i'm going to go to tutorial 3.3b how to add a moving carousel right here what i'm going to do is copy all of this just like you see right here go back to high level just like this open the custom css selector I'm gonna open up some space for myself right here, paste it just like this. What I'm gonna do is hit save right here. And for now, don't worry about how the layout changed. What I'm gonna do is click on the row right here, go to advanced, copy the CSS selector, open up the code again, and there anywhere where it says your row one, I'm gonna replace it just like this. I'm gonna keep scrolling here where it says row one, replace it just like this. And then I think there's this one last element right here. I'm gonna hit save and then you'll see that this will start moving i'm gonna save this and preview it to show you what this looks like so that is how i recreated Eman Gadget's funnel to make it so that it's exactly the same or very very similar on high level now if you're a business that has a website on high level that looks cheap boring and it's not getting any clients and you would like to have a website that stands out that looks beautiful this is the resource that i use every day to build better websites for myself for my clients and you can plug and play all of the effects that i'm showing you in these videos even if you don't know any code at all so if you're interested click the link in the description and get your own copy